Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is world scale three D? Let me run through our quick little example here. Once we actually play with world scale three D, it'll make more sense. But for now, I'm going to be adjusting this cube's scale in world space. So right now it's 1, and if I adjust this like this, it's now 2, and the little debug message shows me it's also 2 as well. However, there are a few things that are of note that we are going to cover in the video now. So let's go ahead and look at the nodes. Now the set world scale 3D node and the get world scale node are what we're looking at. Even though this doesn't say get world scale 3D, it's just an older node that has not been updated yet. The get world scale uses a scene component target and the set world scale 3D uses a scene component and these are basically the pair. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, if you're doing world scale, context sensitivity checked, it's not going to show up. Context sensitivity unchecked, you're going to find a few different things here. You, they're both under transformation and you'll see right here, set world scale 3D and get world scale 3D. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at it. Let me unhook everything, and we'll look at the node as it comes. This is our set world scale 3D node. It's gonna take in a target of a scene component. Keep in mind a scene component is basically any actor component, any blueprint component, a component on an actor or a blueprint. Well, not necessarily an actor, a blueprint that has a transform. It has a scene component as one of its parents. This cube, for example, does. It's a stack mesh. This box collision does. But something like a pawn sensing does not and would not be a valid target to set the location because, well, or scale in this case, because it doesn't have a scale. It's not physically in the world. The other input is the scale itself. It's a vector. Since it's a vector and it's a struct, we can always split it and put in individual x, y, and z, which is what I'm doing here for my example. Remember, it has to be a scene component. You can't just put in an actor. There are actor world scale nodes. We're just going with the world scale in general, which is the scene component. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the caveats here. Now, world scale means, when I run this, the scale of this item, and I'm targeting the cube. Now if we were to pull up the boxes, this is what we're working with here. We're working with a cube, a sphere, and a cylinder, all parented to a scene component, all of them with one, one, and one on the XYZ for their scales. So by default, they're gonna look like this, and we're targeting just the cube itself, an individual component inside of this actor. Now, World scale means inside the world itself, not relative to the parent, not relative to other children, but in the world, what is the scale? Now right now it's one, one, and one. If I was to adjust this to two, two, and two, its scale is now two, two, and two. And I can show you that. We'll go to the transform boxes. We'll go down, let me do this. We'll go to the cube and you'll see its scale is two, two, and two. Now this is the relative scale to the parent, and there's a couple things to note here. This is all important, and hopefully it'll make a little bit of sense. The parent's scale is one all the way across, which means in order to get the cube to be a scale of two, it has to be one multiplied by two, and we're gonna get two for the world scale on the cube. If the world scale of the parent, for example, is going to be something like two itself, We'll go with something like this. You'll notice that we now have something happening. You'll notice our cube itself is huge. Well, what happened is the world, the world size on this cube has actually changed. It isn't actually two, two, and two right now. Even though it displays this, we haven't actually adjusted it, so it's using the old settings. So we set it to two, and then we set the parent to two. So now we have a multiplier. We have four here. Now let me show you what I mean by that. Let me adjust the scale of the cube itself in the world, world scale 3D, back to one. Okay, so we have one for the world scale on the cube, and then we have over here a two for the world scale on the parent. 
Now, if we actually go to the relative scale of the cube, you'll notice it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. Again, it's a multiplier. If we were to change the relative scale of this item, we're not working with relative in this one, we're working with world. But if we were to change the relative to 1, for example, now we're going to end up with a 2 size cube. We're going to end up with a 2 for the parent, 1 for the child, and we're going to end up with 2 in the world scale, 1 for the relative. And I can show you this. We click on scale, change it to world. Now we're going to fix it back to 1 right here. Let's set our parent to 2 here, like this. Actually, let's set our parent to 1. There we go. And let's go back to our cube, and our cube is set to 1 in the world. Let's adjust this to 2. We're going to see 2 right here for the world. Let's adjust our parent now to 2. And you'll notice our parent is now 2. And our cube is still 2. We have not told it to become relative. We told it to stay at 2. So as you can see from our text here, and our debugs spinners here, and our world scale here, it is no longer inheriting. It's not using relative. It's using the world scale. And we can see it's 2 right here. Change it to 4, for example. You'll see it says 4. And the absolute scale in the world is set to 4. So that's the important difference here. World scale is, hey, I don't care what the parent is. I don't care what your children are. In the world, what scale do you want to be? Boom. When we use the set node, we get four. And when I use the get world scale node here, that's when we're printing out four, four, and four right here. So as you can see, they are the same. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not the relative. It is the world. And we'll wrap this up. Set world scale 3D takes in a scene component and a vector. It's going to go ahead and have a getter called get world scale, not get world scale 3D. It may change in the future, but as of 4.12, it is get world scale. These are the pair. And keep in mind, it is, again, the world. Where in the world is the scale? We're not looking for Carmen Sandiego or Waldo. What is the actual scale of this item in the world, not relative to anything else when we get it? And when we set it, it's going to adjust it automatically so the relative may be different if the parent is different. But in the world, since we're setting it as the world, it's going to be the exact number we put in.